Analysis of a sample of butte carried out in a food safe lab safety laboratory gave the following elemental percent compositions by mass. And so when we're working out the empirical formula, we need to just grab, assume that we have 100 grams. And so all of those things end up being 100, uh, being that becomes 73.99 grams, etc. And so we, to work out the empirical formula, we have to work out the number of moles to write the formula. So the number of moles of carbon is mass on molar mass. And for all of these, I uh, need to use the data booklet to work out what these numbers are. So I'm just gonna to refer to this once. Uh, and so that's where I get those numbers from. And so we've got 73.99 grams. So I write 73.99 divided by 12.01. And that gives us, I'll just plug that into the calculator, 6.16 uh, 6 moles. And I have to do the same thing for the rest of them. So the number of moles of hydrogen, 6.55 divided by 1.01, 6.49 moles. Number of moles of nitrogen, 9.09 grams divided by 14.01, 0.649. And finally, the number of moles of oxygen uh, it will be 100 grams minus all those other ones. So that's 10.37 grams divided by 16.00, moles. Okay, so the empirical formula will be uh, C, 6.16, and then hydrogen, 6.49, then nitrogen, 0 0.649, and finally oxygen, 0 0.648. So I divide all of those little ones there by the smallest number, which is 0 0.648, all across here. And that'll give us a final empirical formula of C9.5, hydrogen 10, nitrogen 1, and oxygen divided 6 for 8 divided by 6 for 8 is 1. So if you see a, a 0.5, uh, you've got to get all these to whole numbers, you know, to double it. If you see a 0.3, especially if it's 0.33, you triple it, and that's how you get your whole numbers. So the final one here, we're going to have to double these things. And so the final answer is going to be C, 9.5 times 2. So that's going to be uh, 18 plus 1. So the final answer is C, 19, hydrogen, 20, nitrogen two and oxygen two. Uh, and I wish that gave us a bit more space because you can't clearly set it out like that very easily. Okay, and that's your empirical formula. Now the molar mass of butte is actually 308.37. And so if you, uh, let's find out what the molar mass of the empirical formula is. So that's going to be uh, 19 times 12 roughly. Uh, plus uh, hydrogen is 20 times 1, so let's just give us 20. Uh, that's about 14, so let's just write that as 28, and that's 16, so let's just write that as 32. Um, we add those up, 228, and that's 308. Uh, and so therefore, the empirical formula equals the molecular formula. Uh, so the molecular formula equals the same. So I'll just write that out just so I make sure I get the marks in 202. Okay, now if it was something else, like it was uh, 616, uh, it was double, uh, then the molecular f formula would just be double that. Uh, and so for this one, it's exactly the same. So the empirical formula is the same as the molecular formula.